today, Crazy Amazing, with my co-host, Normal Norma. And today we're talking about sin. Now, sin is the great ball of gas burning miles and miles away in space, and it warms and lights our Earth. Um, yeah, I think that's called the sun. Crazy Amazing. Oh, uh, oh yeah, it is the sun. Okay, the sun. So then, wait, what is sin then? Oh, well, sin is when we miss the mark of perfection. Okay, so like, not washing my hands? No. Okay, like, walking outside only wearing socks? I mean, that's weird, but no. Okay, well, what about like, eating some bubble gum, like swallowing bubble gum? Is that a sin? Nope, just weird. Okay, yeah, I don't I don't understand what sin is. Well, Crazy Amazing, maybe we should do some target practice. That might help us understand. All right, Crazy Amazing, what you need to do is throw your ball right at the target, which is this line on top of my head. Hmm, okay. Um, hmm, I don't really want to do that, so... Okay, well, that actually helps explain this pretty perfectly. Sin is when we know our target. Like, you knew that hitting this line was your target. Okay. And you decided to do what you wanted to do. Okay. Which was throw the ball not at the target. So when God asks us to do something, and then we choose to do the exact opposite, that is sin. That's missing the mark. Oh, okay. So it's kind of like a metaphor. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, okay. So then how do I know what God wants me to do? Do I give him a phone call? Do I write him a letter? No, Crazy Amazing. He actually gave us a really awesome set of rules. Let's check it out. Okay. So God actually gave us something called the Ten Commandments rules that we could follow so we would know exactly what we were supposed to do. There's 10 of them. Okay. And it starts off with you should only have one God. Like that one. One God. Number two, we should have no idols, which means we shouldn't worship other objects or think that anything is more important than God. Okay. Number three, you should not use the Lord's name in vain. Number four is remember the Sabbath, which means we should set apart one day a week to focus on God. Now, number five is you should honor your mother and father. Number six, no killing. Number seven, you should be faithful to the one that you're married to. Number eight is no stealing. Number nine is no lying. We should always tell the truth. And number 10 is no greed. Those are awesome. Okay, so now like, here's an example. What if my mom asks me to help my brother clean up his breakfast dishes before we go to school and I really don't want to, so I decide not to? Is that a sin? Yeah, that actually is a sin. Because remember, number five says that we're supposed to honor our mother and father. We're supposed to obey our parents. So when we decide that we don't want to listen to our parents, we're sinning. Huh, okay. Okay, now here's another example. What if my neighbor gets this really cool new bike? It's like purple and green and it's rainbow and all my favorite colors and it even has streamers going off the handlebars. Pretty cool. What if I take his bike because I think it's better than my own? Is that a sin? Yeah, that's actually called stealing. When you take something that doesn't belong to you, and that's number eight, isn't that? That is number eight. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. I think I understand what a sin is now because the Ten Commandments tell us pretty clearly what we should and should not do. Yep, so when we decide that we don't want to listen to God's Ten Commandments, that is a sin. Okay, 
Wow, that's been so helpful. Thank you, Norma, for helping You're me with so that. You're so welcome. And you know who's always going to help you with that? Jesus. He's always there to help guide you and listen to your prayers when you've got questions for him. You know who else is a great source? It's a really great idea to ask your parents if you have questions. Or your pastor. Those are pretty good resources, I have to say. Exactly. Well, it's been so fun learning about the Ten Commandments and what sin means today on the Crazy Normal Show. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you guys next week. Bye!